Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, whatever time it is you're on. Hello. Um, we're gonna play some cowboy music, some Easter music, some I don't know what I don't know what we're gonna do today. Um, we are going to make our ukuleles come alive with beauty and grace. And the way we do that is by going directly racing, not not walking, uh, but running over to jollyrogerukulele.com. That is where you will find our website. And on the website is uh, links to our daily schedule, uh, sheet music aplenty. There is also video archives. There's an orchestra you can join. There's all sorts of delightful stuff. Almost everything's free. And uh, you should go there and hang out and become a, and drink drink the Kool-Aid finger style ukulele and let me hit update and make sure that the link is working I will then uh, run over to Twitter and post that because as you know if you are uh, a celebrity like I am you are on Twitter um, they're also on Instagram I haven't ever done Instagram I have an Instagram account I have five pictures on there four of which <laughs> um, my nieces or nephews put on there let's see there is yes opening up to the correct spot let's go grab uh, twi uh, the tweet the tweeting machine and we'll put us up the way there Twe concert with cowboy we're gonna have we've got cowboy music cow cowboys and we're gonna have Peter Cottontail today um, and who knows what else will get done uh, HTTPS colon slash slash jolly Julie jolly Roger ukulele dot dot com tweet oh, I forgot to put the thing on it oh well that's good enough and um, Oh shoot, I could just go tweet it real I'll just tweet it real quick. Just for fun. It should be it's a really cool graphic, I think. This week's graphic. I like this week's graphic. I only did the I just added the words to it, but <laughs> I think it looks nice. Uh tweet. Alright, so there I double tweeted. I think you're allowed to do that. You are. Okay, good. Um there. There, 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 there. Let's turn off that. Uh, Bruce is the first one in. Bruce is from Virginia. It is 53 degrees out there. Sunny. I saw on the news that the East Coast was getting some kind of crummy weather. I wondered if that was going to affect you, Bruce. Vic is in. Sounds good. Up sunny up in Eugene today. I will uh, head it out for shot number two. That's exciting, Vic. I'm really glad about that. Good for you. You'll be you'll be uh, ready ready to uh, uh, go wild, Elizabeth. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> the bunny book has been the hit of the... I always know with you guys, like, all right, if I can give them something really, really goofy, that's what they'll be into. <laughs> and so, yeah, so you're welcome for the bunny bunny coloring book. Uh, Terry, ready to play music, uh, cowboys and imaginary... Ra yeah, exactly, right? Uh, most everything... If you think about how much in life is really imaginary, how much of it we have made up, <laughs> like, that we just live our lives under this haze of uh, uh, things we believe that are, well, we don't know, right? Um, but the, the good portion of it is just, like, you wake up in the morning, you're like, why am I here? And you're like, well, uh, and then you come up with this reason <laughs> that's made up. Um, all right, Carol. Uh, sunny in 60s. Uh, oh, it's beautiful up in Nathrop. Oh, sounds like a good day to be in the mountains. Uh, I guess probably this weekend is the week, uh, maybe the last great weekend to be in the mountains because it's going to be 70, 80 degrees down here. So it's going to be unbelievable up there. Uh, you probably everybody in the city will be smashing into your neighborhood, Carol. Chris is in. Happy Thursday to you. Ronnie's in from New Mexico. 64 degrees is just not quite cracking the cracking that 70 degree mark, are you, Ronnie? Uh, Janice is in. Uh, sunny but chilly. Wind across the pond. <laughs> All right. So slowly, slowly, slowly trying to be spring up in in Scotland. Glad to have you, Janice. Um, Diane is in. We'll try to keep up with all the music. <laughs> Yeah, I, you don't have to keep up with anyway. You have to have keep up with five songs that you have chosen. 
uh, Linda, uh, if I'm in Denver next week, where is your shop and hours? So Linda, I don't keep regular hours. Toss me an email and uh, and I will try to uh, put you on the calendar. Um, I've never kept hours over at the shop because honestly, um, uh, it, it's just too complicated. If somebody is if I'm working with somebody and you just happen by, uh, it just doesn't work. So um, I always make appointments, and um, I'd love to have, love to meet you, Linda. <laughs> and uh, so toss me an email. We'll see if we can work out a time where you're going to be in town and I will be available. Shop is near uh, Alameda and Broadway is where it's near. So it's it's basically in just uh, on the south side of downtown Denver, and. Uh, um, and call it a shop is probably not the right answer. It's a studio where I have everything that you could possibly ever want ukulele wise is I have more mostly. Let's not put it that way. Everything you could possibly need I have for a ukulele wise. Um, so yeah, but t t toss me an out, toss me a, an email. Let's see if we can find a find a time slot that works for both of us. Uh, Linda's in from Vancouver, springtime warming up. That's exciting. Uh, Patricia in from Denver, Lynn in from New Jersey. Sun has finally showed up this afternoon. Yeah, I heard you guys are having some some weather out there. Jacqueline, gorgeous day in Colorado. We have an opening day for baseball here. Um, we have uh, no reason to watch baseball this year. They they uh, are not going anywhere at all. But Colorado, we could still go down to the baseball stadium because we don't know anything about baseball anyway. And we you know get a hot dog and all that stuff. Amy's in. Hi everyone from Sunny Arvada. Birds were clean. Clinging <laughs> birds are singing up there north of Colfax. Good to have you, Amy. The barb is in. Linda is in from Maui. 90 degrees here. Uh, and the tourists have returned. I know. Can you imagine? Uh, I hope they all, I hope they're all being smart. I, they're not, but I wish they would. And Evelyn's in from Ecuador. All right, guys. Um, we're going to go off a request today. Um, I will take just a moment to talk to you about uh, the two, the well, the three Easter things I posted up there. So let me give you just a, take a moment to talk about that. Um, um, let me go pull those pull those up real quick. Um, we can play them or not play them. I don't necessarily care much one way or the other, but I do want to talk about them before we send you off on on your Easter on your Easter holiday. Um, let me pull this up here. So uh, Peter Cottontail is clearly the easier one of the two. Um, it's a silly little song. Um, I would not. Honestly, um, you can play the tough you kind of if you want, but that's not how you play a song like that, right? Um, um, here, just grab your C chords. <laughs> C, F, and G. You know how to play that. Okay, baritone players, uh, C, F, and G, right? Um, uh, four beat pattern, Peter Cottontail. Let's just get it. Let's just let's just get it out of the way. One, two, ready, play. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Bringing every girl and boy, baskets full of Easter joy, the things that make your Easter bright and gay. Right, so that, that was thumb, then you do the claw, or the do arpeggio picking, and then, of course, uh, when you get to a, a, some, the second half, do something different. Um, I don't even know how it goes. Ready, play. Deli beans, what da 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 Happy Easter Day! Happy Easter Day! Easter's on its way. Um, so there's not there's no music there, right? It's just for fun. <laughs> uh, there is a one musical thought here, though, to think about. Um, you got your C chord, F chord, G chord, G seven. Um, sometimes G, if you're in the key of C, um, your fifth is G or G seven. And there are reason if you go if you play a G seven, you pretty much have to go back to C. But if you play a G, you can go on to other. Um, chords. Now, this song, 
Um, you'll notice when you get to measure 12, you have both G chords in there, the G7 and the G. Um, and um, uh, Easter bonnets too. Now at that point, I could have put in a G7 there, but the melody note's a three. So that's it, which is a G, which turns it into a G chord. Oh, and then and then it's a, just a little smoother transition back into the song. So it made sense to put a G chord there rather than a G7. But you could play a G7 there just fine. Um, uh, the other important musical concept here, uh, hippity hoppity, go to measure three. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, right? You've got to get three notes in the space of two. So if you're down, up and down strumming, here comes Peter, uh, here comes Peter Cottontail, up and down the bunny, the bunny trail, hippity hoppity. And you've got to, the, the problem is, is when, if you are still in that strumming with your voice, you'll end up doing this. Here comes Peter Cottontail, Easter's on its way. And that sounds terrible. And that's why people come, that's why singers come to me is they end up trying to do that. Uh, and they're like, I, I sound terrible when I strum. And I'm like, yeah, because you're strumming to the pace of the music. The first three, hippity, is hippity. That's up and down. Not You sing three, but you only strum two. Hoppity, same thing. Easter's on its way. So when you see triplets, you got a couple of choices. One, if you're strong and you keep the steady pace, it will work out beautiful. Um, however, a lot of times it makes sense just to let the singer have it. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. And a lot of times for orchestra, I will arrange it that way, where if there are triplets going on, I let the people playing the triplets kind of take the show and let the chord people, you know, just sort of mellow out a little bit and let that let them uh, do that. Uh, so just be mindful, and when, those of you who like singing and strumming, when you see triplets, you got you don't try to strum with the music. Keep your beat steady, or do nothing. Let that go through, and then get back to your beats um, because th th those will mess you up pretty well. Um, in terms of the melody here, there is not a whole lot to talk about, so we won't spend any time on that. I did put on a full um, um, uh, tough uke arrangement because that's what I do. That's my that's what I feel like it's my mission in life. Um, and uh, let's play through it just one time, just so you know it's there. One, two, ready, play. <laughs> I slowed it way down on purpose to be silly. Because what will happen if you if you have people or if you decide, hey, let's get everybody, we'll get together and get the family together, and we're going to sing this. When you get there and you go, they'll keep singing, right? They're going to keep singing at the full speed. They're going to be finished with the next two measures while you're going. sit and you say you guys went too fast oh here comes peter cotton tail up and down the bunny trail hippity hoppity happy easter i put a fermat over there on purpose and then day <laughs> so, and, then, and then some kind of goofy chord at the end um, 
um, when you do a song like this, you're supposed to make it silly, right? And so the more you got the full toolbox, use it, bring it, bring it to this, and turn it into something. Um, but I did slow major twelve way down, just just to mess up people who are singing along, thinking they know what they're doing. <laughs> um, and then the triplets. Um, I didn't get the baritone one done. Um, there came a point this you know this morning. I'm throwing this. I've done this before, and so I was just cleaning it up. And Donna came out of the back room, and she says. Are you about done with that? You know, with this look on her face. So, um, so I had to put it away. <laughs> um, rather than there being a homicide here in my house, and uh, so I'll get the baritone posted up this afternoon. Um, it's the same. It's the same as the. Uh, it's just your key, the key of G. So nothing will change. Um, so there's that. Um, you're welcome. Uh, second thing on there on the website is. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Easter Bunny coloring book. A couple of years ago, I was looking around for uh, Easter songs, and I ran across this free public domain Easter Bunny coloring book. And so I took it and I posted it on the website for you, so you have that as well. Um, in the in the event you're going to make the questionable decision of having family over for uh, Easter, uh, one, hopefully they're all vaccinated, and two, uh, uh, you need something to just get, give them the little book and some color pencils and have them and then put them in the other room <laughs> um, and uh, then let's talk Easter Parade because th that actually is a legitimate piece of music and um, um, let's pull that up and let's talk about it r just real quick and I know today is just playing uh, cowboy songs but I do want to at least give you a heads up on some of this stuff and it'll take me just a second to pull it up here I have to rethink my storage system here because this computer is too slow. Easter parade. Okay, right. Here. There it is. So again, I will get the baritone version posted of this. But you can look this piece of music over pretty quick and you're like, oh, wait, this is a whole level, a whole nother level of crazy. And um, what I want to do, I want to go through real slow and play this with you real quick, just to tough you and talk about a few issues that come up in this. Um, uh, one, Irving Berlin. So that's, uh, he, he's, a, he, he's legit. Uh, two, 1933, right dead square in the middle of Tin Pan Alley. Um, and just as with all Tin Pen Alley tunes, I typed, the, uh, I, I found, a, I found a decent, um, uh, piece of music with this on it. Um, went in, wrote it all, you know, got, pulled up, do them, do did my deal with it. And, um, I had all of the verses in there in the, the intro verses and as with so much in Tin Pan Alley, you can take the verses and just throw them away. They had, they were just there uh, to take up space and to take up time and make it worth paying for two, uh, 50 cents for a piece of sheet music. The verses were never really very important in Tin Pan Alley music. It's always the chorus. In this case, I just chopped off the verses after typing them all in. And you have just the chorus here. Um, and uh, some of you may know this, some of you may not. Um, it, it is definitely another one of these earworms, a tiny bit annoying in some respects. So let's let's just play through it real quick. I want to show you a few things. A chord with that four, right? That's come up a lot. In your, and then you immediately switch to the E7. Okay, so that's, a, that's kind of a little bit of a work to do that. Grab the two, A7. Um, I went ahead and gave you a strum on the beat three, even though for many, many, many of the measures you're not the you're tying over the melody note. So what I would do on those ties, I'd either just straight up ignore the tie and hit it again, or I would just try to uh, either pluck. If you're wanting to be overly uh, devoted to the sheet music, just pluck the zero one zero there. Or just just strum it and, um, and it'll be fine. So let me give you the example of what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to strum that anyway. Um, either, that means I'm hitting the four twice, but it won't. It really won't matter. Um, it, it's it's. Uh, I didn't want to put the chord on the previous beat because then it sends you the wrong message about where that where 
how the melody or how the the, the harmony is working. <laughs> I can't talk. Can you tell I'm almost done with my week? D chord. Okay, so when you see the tide measure tide note in the middle you can make a choice you can either try to avoid it by plucking you can go ahead and strum down and not hit it again you can go ahead and strum all the way down and hit again none of that's going to matter it's really designed there uh, it's really serving the function of being a rhythmic element and often you'll actually be changing the chords when you hit that rhythmic element um and i would say um just find a way where where I mean, if in the event you decide, yep, I'm going to mess around with this song, uh, that uh, you you there's no real wrong way to play that, and so whatever makes the most sense in your ear is the way to do it. Let's go on to measure five. You'll three, E seven, A chord. Here's an F sharp minor. This is get where it gets really cool. And now you're going to do this B seven. You're going to put your middle finger on three, right? Just like we always do the B7. But now your melody notes of four, so you end up with this shape on your hand, which is a ninth shape, and it's typical Irving Berlin sneaking in real legitimate music. Listen to that. It's a B7 with the wrong melody note on the top. And then a B minor. And then go to your E7. Okay. Um, measure nine, uh, the next set of measures is the same as the beginning, so let's just play. Okay, and you can hear that B diminished in there? It's, a, it's just waiting to, to resolve itself into the uh, new idea. And then go to measure 13. There's that B9 again. Okay, so that last chord in 15 is, plays a pretty important role you're going B9, B7. It's really B9 all the way through, but it, 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 it's probably B7 all the way through, but it just happens that the ninth happens in the first beat. Um, but that E7 at the end, bum, bum, that's really the turnaround into the next part of the song. So you want to get that E7 clean. This is where it gets a very show. Um, showy. He wrote this song for another reason and then just picked it up to put into um, uh, one of the musicals he was working on. And uh, um, you could feel the musical musicalness. On, on the avenue, Fifth Avenue, da 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 da. And this one, you're going to want to go listen to the MP3 because even I don't think I'm going to get it right here. That's really what's going on here. Um, it's just bouncing it down the like you're bouncing a ball down the stairs. Bump, bada, bump, bada, bump, bada, bump, bada, bump. That's what you got to get that feeling in there. On Fifth Avenue, Fifth Avenue, da 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 and it's gonna go down like that. Um, and um, all of the chords are our basic regular old chords. Um, and so there's nothing in there that's super complex. The only one that didn't work out because of the ukulele's high G string, uh, measure 20, um, you've got a, a, a 6 5 six. And so just don't hit your fifth, fourth string there, it'll be fine. Yeah, 
piano. One less ninth chord to E ninth there in the middle of 30 to 22. And then that three right there. You see it's sharped. Again, that's telling you this is a weird moment in the song. It's a transition. We'll go on to the, go, uh, we're going to transition back to the main chorus idea. So play from 23 to the end. One, two, three, four. Sorry. There's a cool turnaround. Yeah, and then you would go back and play it a second time. This so last time through, you come through and get the A. I did give you this as your last note. <laughs> so, so play that. Anyway, uh, kind of a fun song. I don't want to spend any more time on it, but uh, it is. Um, um, definitely as hard as any of the other Tin Pan Alley tunes that we have. And so uh, it'll cycle its way through once in a while. We'll, we'll do it. It's kind of fun. Um, let's see. Who did I miss walking in? Uh, Evelyn, Sandy, Q, everybody. Oh, bunch of like the button. Thank you, Q. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh, the Texans. The Texans are in the Colorado mountains. All right, what do you want to play? Let's pick some cowboy tunes. Whatever you want to play, the rest of the time. We got 20 minutes, and it, you know, tell me what you want to play. Clementine, Colorado Trail, Don't Fence Me In, Ghost Riders, Happy Trail, Streets of Laredo. What do you want to do? Pick one. I don't care. And the, the delay is a little ridiculous, guys, so um, if I don't hear it from anybody anytime soon... Uh, I can see Judy Garland for this one. Oh yeah, you done and told me it was in a movie. I don't, I've never seen that movie, but uh, apparently, yeah, if you've seen that movie, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go grab Happy Trails. Uh, both pa Patty and Sandy are both into it, so <laughs> let's go grab Happy Trails. Uh, this one does, like we talked about last earlier this week, this does come up at uh, ukulele strum alongs. It'll come up in the context of being in the key of C. Uh, but uh, but it's not not a bad idea to know what it is, right? Uh, and go right across. Okay, you got plenty to keep us busy now. Happy trails. Let's do happy trails. Um, grab your G chords. I got the ukulele version, and um, we'll start with that. G chord, happy trails, ukulele version. And you're busy doing your paperwork, and here we go. <laughs> Three B count in. Um, try to get a little bounce into it. A little bounce. One, two, three.
nice. <laughs> Lovely. Well, it works, right? Everything. There's a little. It gets a little fingery. Well, down there, measure. Uh, um, measure eleven feels like it's a little bit all over the place, but otherwise than that, it works pretty well. Let's play the baritone version of it. Um, back out of this, happy trails, happy trails, body tone. All right. Ukulele players, these are pretty decent chords for you, hopefully, for the most part. But you do have an E chord in there, and that's kind of a bummer. But um, no, just play the whole thing bar chords from the top. One, two, three. Fun little song, love it. Um, that's another one where you're probably going to strum and sing it just because you, because you can. Um, um, I was going to mention on Easter Bonnet, I did or Easter Parade, I did play it on baritone, just the exact arrangement that you have for ukulele. But I played it super crazy slow, like Hotel California slow, and it's actually way better that way. <laughs> really get a lot of depth. So baritone players, when you get your Happy Parade or Easter Parade. Uh, uh, spend a minute just going through it uh, at a, a ridiculously slow speed, and you'll like it. I think. Let's grab Ghost Riders in the Sky, uh, the baritone version. Ghost Riders baritone, please. And remember, on the baritone version, at measure uh, 39 uh, and 40, you have the zeros up here. It sounded goofy when we played them. Um, so I recommended you go with zeros on the third string. Um, I'm not sure either of those is the right answer, so um, uh, I, I suppose you can play whatever you want there. Um, the other possibility would be a two on the fourth string. No, that wouldn't be a possibility. That's a bad idea. Don't listen to Gary. Gary's an idiot. Uh, D, G, D, G, G, D, G, B, E, D, D, G, B, B, D, D. Yeah, it's really nines, maybe. How about nines? Put nines on that third string there. Nine, nine, nine. I want to try nines. See if that solves the problem. Um, let's see. 
Oh yeah, that's a great idea, right? When when you're doing arpeggio. Da -da -da -da. Happy trail to you until we meet again. Happy trail to you. Yeah, heck yeah. Just get that little syncopated uh, four-beat pattern in there and you'll sound like a horse. <laughs> Way to go, Patty. Good, good idea. Great, great, great job. All right, E minor. Uh, baritone players, you know what you're supposed to do. Either chords, melody, or uh, tough yaks, tough uke. And ukulele players, you know these chords. One, two, three. too fast but kind of fun right I'm thinking um, those seven eighths nines if you can reach seven eight nine and then rather than doing the block 12 
which seems like a lot of work for not a lot of horsepower. And just hold your pinky up on that 12. Basically the same chord and um, then you don't have to move anything and re results in a probably a little bit faster play. Um, let's play the, good, uh, the um, ukulele version of this. Okay, ukulele players, you know how fast we were going. Let's go that fast. Let's go even faster. <laughs> All right. Ghost Riders, ukulele version, baritones, you got C, A minor, F, and G. Or C, A minor, and F. That's it. One, two, three. kind of like that don't play it like that play it sort of like that play it better than that let's really quickly we're going to jump we're going to we're going to slow it down we're going to put laura to bed here uh colorado trail um ukulele version that's all we'll have time for colorado trail i want to get it in <laughs> colorado trail ukulele all right this is this one will this one will make us much happier that actually is super fun to play if you can play it fast i would if i was going to be a uh, uh, 
serious about playing a lot of cowboy music. Ghost Riders and the, it would be way up there on my list, and it would be where I could get that so fast, and people would be like, oh my gosh, that guy really knows what he's doing. All right, Colorado Trail, any way you want. We got uh, uh, easy chords, ukulele version. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so uh, I supposed to do it three times through. We did it two times through. That's enough. Um, I am clearly out to lunch already. <laughs> uh, apologize. I did not play better today than I did. I'm a mess. Uh, I will be cleaned up and prettied up and my head back on my shoulders on Monday. Uh, you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will get uh, the baritone versions of those two uh, Easter songs posted later today. So you'll have those for the weekend. Don't, don't neglect to plague your family with them. And uh, it's delightful to have all of you here all of the time. Um, as I say, all of the time, uh, and especially on the last day of the week, um, random act of kindness, right? Try to try to find something silly to do for somebody. That could include walking over and giving them a little uh, version of uh, Peter Cottontail, singing it with them. Uh, be safe. Get your buyer vaccine, obviously, as soon as you possibly can. Guys, we're at a level where we have to practice. We have to work on this uh, and to get better. And so spend a little bit of time with your ukulele away from me, right? Where you're just having the, the opportunity just to play. Um, keep showing up I don't know any place else uh, or any other way for you to continue to advance other than to continue to show up uh, if you, uh, the like and subscribe buttons down here if you obviously if you haven't done that and then uh, um, I think all of you guys probably are members of the Jolly Roger website I know it costs a few bucks but I definitely think uh, that members area has gotten to the point of being a pretty valuable resource and so I think you want to have that uh, at your disposal so hopefully um, that's enough for that and I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, thank you all for being here and then let's see what's going on over here. Uh, uh, let's see, Janet. Oh, Janet snuck in to listen to the concert. Our our clocks go back another hour next week. To five five a.m. Uh, Janice, that's this is not worth five a.m. <laughs> oh, geez, five a.m. That's a, si a, a time of day that I used to. I used to have to get up at four. Well, I had to get up at three thirty to be at work by four fifteen for years when I worked at at Starbucks, and uh, I can tell you, I'm done with that life. Evelyn, happy Easter to you. Nice concert. A fun concert, right? Terry, uh, appreciate it. Have a great Easter, Terry. Linda, nice to see you. Uh, Sandy, see everyone next week. That's what we do, right? Uh, Patricia, happy Easter. Uh, Amy, good to see you. Diane, happy Easter. Ronnie, uh, happy Easter to you. Uh, Lynn, good to see you. 
Elizabeth, happy trails. <laughs> good, good. Janice, happy Easter. We'll see you soon. Lots of chocolate, right? Let's keep our let's keep the priorities straight. <laughs> Jacqueline, good to see you. Thank you for the video. So delighted. Chris, uh, happy Easter to you. Linda, um, yeah, it was fun. We got more cowboy tunes next week, guys. More cowboy tunes coming. So so don't think you're don't think you're done. Don't put your spurs away yet. Uh, Nancy. Love songs. Yeah, we're, we're, they are nice songs. I don't know why. We just like them. Uh, Fran, good to see ya. And Tanya snuck in also. Another amazing. Bridge, right? I don't know how. I, I have no ability to compete with Bridge. That's one thing I know for sure. You guys are legit when it comes to Bridge. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that game, but you guys don't mess. That's the one thing you don't mess with is, is, is uh, the people who play Bridge. So, all right, guys. Uh, oh, Linda, good to see you. Have a thank you. I need a long weekend. I really do. Michelle, I'll see you soon. You can tell my head is exploding. So off I go. I'll see you guys later. Happy, happy, happy.